Wales are right up against it. An opening day defeat, which their boss attributed to opening day nerves. Whatever the reason, what is absolutely clear is that they need to avoid defeat now. Should they lose again, then their presence in the competition is hanging by a thread. They will be desperate to avoid that state of affairs. It's a stressful day, and a big performance is needed. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Well, some in the media have dubbed this already a desperation derby. Well, it doesn't have to be doom and gloom simply because you've lost one game. That can be rescued quite quickly here, uh, with a great chance of, of turning fortunes round and, and lifting spirits and just creating much more optimism. And they can still emerge from this group. Their hopes and dreams are very much alive from the way I see it. The action has already started. Forward it goes. That's great strength on the ball. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And it's got through. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Bale. Ramsey. Yaziji. He gets past his man. Deflected behind for a corner kick. They've played it short. Plays it in. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Tufan. Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped. Yeah, nobody's going to argue with that. It's a fine run, and he's happy to keep going. There's the ball in. Can he sh shoot? And it's Ramsey. That is terrific skill. Bell. Davis. Davis delivers. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. So it is still nil-nil. Plays it out to the wing. Davis. Aimed in towards the centre. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Allen. Out to the left it goes. It's a good-looking cross. They leave it clear. That'll be a throw in. Incoming cross, that's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide 
some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Your Kushlu. Well, that's where he wants it. It's a loose ball. Over to the left, Davis. In Hits it first time! It's good distance on it. Ampadu. Back into the middle. Davis is charging up on the overlap. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. with perfect timing. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Now look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Wales break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. It's going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. The club has still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Wales happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. The action has already resumed here. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Yaziji. Bale battles to it, whistle's gone, that's a foul. to take the muscular approach. Yaziji. And the finish! Oh, extraordinary. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Bale. Allen. And here's Ramsey. And it's Allen. Place it into the box. He still wants to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Chalhanolu mops it in gently. Turkey showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Across the field it goes. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Allen.
Just brushed off the ball there. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. And helps available out wide. And he's there to cut it out. will be livid with himself. Wales can make their change now with uh, a break in play. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he could feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Shalhanolu. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Yokushlu. The breakthrough came and he's gone for goal! And the lead stays intact just. I oh, can't hide away from how important that was. Allen. That intervention was very necessary. Wales are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Turkey have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. Still just that single goal and we are nearly done. Wales are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Alan. Ramsey, tries a shot! Wales can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny. Just a Italy have got off to a solid, if unspectacular, start coming into this game off a draw on day one of the campaign. Not ideal, but uh, far from disastrous. And much now depends on the outcome of this pivotal game. A win would certainly put them in the frame for a top two finish. Anything less, and it would be very much on the edge. Tries a shot! Immobile hits it! It's broken loose. Great run on the overlap here. Shoots. We can get that clear. Chiesa. Italy have created a real intensity from the start, and there's no sign of any let-up. 
Shakiri provides an outlet. Romagnoli. Romagnoli plays it forward quickly. Saniolo huddling down that right flank. And it's Shakiri. He's left his man. Battles to win it back. What a throw in. Shakiri. And here's Mbolo. Mbolo really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Switzerland are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. And... Oh, shooting chance! Oh, surely that deserved better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Good save, he got a decent fifth. He's gone for it! It's being played forward. Chiesa. Tries to get it forward quickly. And out to safety. Italy have it back and they can go again. He's through. Immobile. He's had a goal! Goal, Italy! And Italy score first. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. And it's Seferovic. Jorginho gets it back. Cher. Ricardo Rodriguez. Shakiri. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. There will be a throw-in. And it's Shakiri. Ricardo Rodriguez, he's got options out wide. Timely intervention. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Oh, he's broken through. He sees it all the way. Lorenzo Insigne. And the through ball is intercepted. Chiesa. Good challenge, he just stood firm. They've managed to get it away. And it's Immobile. Out to the right. Saniolo crosses it. And it's played forward. Shakiri with a long pass. Back to the keeper and try something new. Chiesa, who does have an assist to his name. Marco Verratti. Chair. Ricardo Rodriguez. Shakiri. Chiesa did well to emerge with the ball. 
that's a contest to keep an eye on. This is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Rodman still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. It's all been a decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front end for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Italy leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. A sock header! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Harmlessly behind. Rodriguez does well there, alert. Switzerland get it back again. And helps available out wide. Who's got the final touch there? Goal kick's been given. Ricardo Rodriguez. It's a throw. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Granit Xhaka. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. He's made sure that that won't get through. That's some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Immobile. He gets past his man. Oh, sweet feet. And it's Ferrati. Oh, good take in a good area. Chiesa! Plays it in. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Plays it out to the flank. Played in by Sef. Up for the header! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Switzerland grabbed the equaliser, and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Rodriguez switches it towards the other side. Seferovic. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Rodriguez. Lorenzo Insignia. Here's up, and here's Insignia. That's offside. Yes, it is. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner.
Sommer gets it upfield. Cher. Granit Xhaka. And it's Seferovic. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Switzerland showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Shakiri. Switzerland merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Chiesa. Looking and the finish! Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Seferovic. Seferovic has got himself a free kick. Both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Now it's Immobile, cuts it out. Forward it goes. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Italy take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. That Italy winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. 1 1, drawn 1, four points from six, and looking good. Italy leave it late, but in the end, it was great. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due.